FDTD operates in the time domain, but what we're really after here is the sinusoidal steady state magnitude of the signal at different positions from the transmitter. For example, here, we're looking at the time waveform of the vertical electric field at the observation point, as we saw while we were testing the two-dimensional PML last time. First, we saw, over a short amount of time, some transient electric fields propagate through the observation point. After that, we appear to reach a steady state, sinusoidal steady state electric field amplitudes, if we look at the maximum values of these electric fields. We saw earlier in this class that one way to get the sinusoidal steady state magnitude of a signal is to take the discrete Fourier transform of the signal and check the magnitude at our frequency of interest. Here, we'd be interested in the amplitude at 10 kilohertz. Will that work here? Can we take the DFT of this waveform? It turns out we cannot take the DFT of this waveform. We can't take the DFT of a continuous wave because the wave does not decay to zero. It goes on forever. It's a sinusoid. Instead, we're lucky in this particular case because the source is just a simple sinusoid. We can just record the maximum value that the electric field reaches at each location of interest. And we just have to make sure that we sample the maximum after the sinusoidal steady state is achieved, like in this region. The reason is we can see that at this observation point, the transient electric field value over here is larger than the steady state electric field that we're interested in over here. To do this, we will need to define a new matrix in which we can store these maximum electric fields over all spatial positions. Let's call this matrix EZ max or something like that. EZ max should be the same size as EZ and it should also be initialized to zero to begin with. Take a moment and write some code for how you would give values to EZ max during your simulation. <laughs> 